I started dealing with depression and anxiety at the same time. And when I saw what kind of a difference working out did for my mental health is when everything changed. You've got to want to change yourself. Hey everyone, before jumping into this episode, I have some huge news to share. Over the past 90 days, 79.4% of our audience has consisted of viewers and listeners who aren't subscribed to this channel. Research indicates that forming a habit is easier when you make it simple to act. By hitting the subscribe button, you're not only creating a habit of learning how to be happier, healthier, and more healed, but you're also supporting us in making better, bigger, and brighter content for you and the world. Your subscription would mean the absolute world to me. Subscribe right now. Hey everyone, my name is Andy. Welcome back to Aging Strong, where you can become happier, healthier, and more healed after 60. I invite you to join this community. Now in 2024, I want to help you get fitter, stronger, calmer, and feel that you have more courage. To do all those things, I'm looking for guests, experts, and thought leaders who can help you build a great future. I'm a nutritionist and a certified fitness instructor. You can contact me on social media, sign up for my newsletter at andyasher.com, and check out my weekly jump rope challenge. Today, we will hear from world-renowned thought leaders in fitness and wellness, Sonata Greca and Joan McDonald. Both are inspiring influencers. Both started their fitness journey after struggling through a personal crisis. Sonata Greca talks about her emotional scars left by doctors and drug prescriptions that made her condition worse. Now she talks about how her life improved upon discovering the benefits of mind-body fitness. Let me introduce you when she appeared with Jay Shetty on his podcast, On Purpose. I started dealing with depression and anxiety at the same time and working with physicians you know they're a little bit quick to push medication on you and when i saw what kind of a difference working out did for my mental health is when everything changed so hopefully everybody keeps that momentum going but if you're looking to start i always say start small you know you want to climb that mountain one step at a time versus you know doing a uh, a day-long trip so to speak so take the smallest step you know start with 20 minutes if we cannot start with 20 minutes start with five minutes or even one minute sonata greca is a fitness trainer brand influencer and entrepreneur she is recognized for sharing short workout videos on social media. She also posts about nutrition and advocates for mental health. I want to tell you about Joan McDonald, whose daughter got her into fitness and exercise at age 70 because of a heart scare showing up in her doctor's lab results. Joan became an inspiring fitness influencer and a social media personality, gaining widespread recognition for her incredible fitness transformation later in life. Joan embarked on a journey to improve her physical well-being. Nothing is magical, it's work, but it's a work that you can enjoy. What you can do comfortably, in the end, you are gonna be stronger and healthier. And that's all that really matters. Now there is an important backstory for both Joan and Sonata. Both were struggling with stress and anxiety from personal challenges at the time. For Sonata, it was from anxiety and stress about doctors wanting to treat her with pills and drugs that she didn't want. Joan was showing dangerously high laboratory levels. Peter Atia, an MD, a leader of the Medicine 3.0 movement and the founder of Early Medical, talks about the effects of stress. When I'm under stress, work-wise, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'm just doing too much. I don't even use the word stress. It has a, a real negative connotation yeah, to sure, it. Exactly. I just mean when I'm overworked, when I'm mm -hmm. doing too much. What we know is exercise is the single biggest elixir for brain health. Um, and it's amazing how, you know, how much more powerful it appears to be than nutrition, even sleep. And those things are very important, but That's, exercise wow. is in a league of its own. Atia trained for five years and general surgery at the John Hopkins Hospital, where he received several prestigious awards. He is also the author of a comprehensive review of general surgery. Now, recently I talked with Pam Strand, who hosts the Longevity Gym Podcast. Pam left her consulting career because she was tired of being tired 
and she finally listened to her inner voice telling her that there was more to life. Her insatiable curiosity about how the body and the mind work turned into a new career as a personal trainer, and I asked her about the relationship between stress and exercise. So stress is, in your view, is it is it is it a negative factor, or is, does stress have some positive characteristics? There's a balance between stressing your body in a positive way, and then too much of that can turn into stress, and then also be cognizant, what are all those other pieces of stress that maybe are unproductive stress? Pam says she is on a mission to help others over 60 navigate their fitness journey, so they age slowly and they age strong. Oh, wonderful. It's always wonderful. And I want to update you now on the, uh, on the jump rope challenge. It's not the destination, keep in mind. It is the journey. Now, some days are better than others. If you're over 60, check first with your doctor. But I want to say that the body benefits in many ways. Now, I set a goal for myself of 100 jumps per day. Let me tell you something about these challenges. You will have good days and bad days. Now, I am upping my challenge from 100 jumps per day to 125. If you love this episode, you will enjoy the episode with Share. By hitting the subscribe button, you're not only creating a habit of learning how to be happier, healthier, and more healed, but you're also supporting us in making better, bigger, and brighter content for you in the world. Your subscription would mean the absolute world to me. You can contact me on social media and through my website, andyasher.com. Subscribe right now. If you love this episode, you will enjoy my conversation with Jennifer Sokolow on how to claim your swagger to transform yourself and your life. That's the most, one of the most amazing discoveries that's happened in psychological research in the past two decades, recognizing and identifying the fact that we can choose how we think.